News first, face to face with Charlotte Benedict. Hello there, very good evening. Welcome to another edition of Face to Face. Joining us this evening is the General Secretary of the United National Freedom Front, President's Council, Maitri Gunaratna. Uh, a very good evening, sir, and welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Charan. Thank uh, you for inviting Mr. me. Mr. Gunaratna, now you've been in Sri Lanka's political game for quite some time. People right now are confused. People don't know who is in government. People are confused as to who is in the opposition. Let's um, start off with speaking about the recent uh, SLPP convention. Now, when one looks at the convention, one would wonder as to who is really running Sri Lanka. Because many of the promises at the SLPP convention were, you know, reduction of taxes, reduction in the cost of living, um, following a future government in a future government after an election that is to be held in the future but however uh, correct me if I'm wrong but at the previous election the SLPP got a resounding uh, majority in Parliament they got a resounding majority at the local governments and if uh, you know God forbid there was a provincial council election they would have secured a majority there as well so I'm confused what is really happening here sir? Chalan, uh, one thing is the Supreme Court has, by its pronouncement of a judgment, with regard to the bankruptcy of Sri Lanka, mm. has very clearly spelled out that the main people who are responsible for it mm. were the guys who were seated right in front at this SLPP convention. Mm. So basically, Mahinda Rajapaksa, Basil Rajapaksa and the, the Rajapaksa clan mm. has been responsible in bringing this country to bankruptcy hmm. so whatever they promise now it is it is it has been it is it is common knowledge that they have absolutely no intention hmm. to safeguard the country or put this country on the right track hmm. it is only a case of maintaining their families maintaining all their catchers hmm. and having a carnival at the expense of this country. Hmm. So if the people of this country still opt to vote for the Rajapaksas and the SLPP, then we have very, very little hope. Hmm. We have very, very little hope. But the idea that was kind of propounded at that is, uh, you know, we need to uh, be a grateful people uh, because uh, they were the ones who oh, won yes, the yes. war. That's right. Now that is, that is so a card. So now, now, the war was won in 2009 mm. and Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa got a resounding victory in 2010 mm. having won the war mm. to do the affairs of the country in the same manner he won the war. Mm. Now, if he, if he was successful in uh, finishing this war, then people automatically thought, okay, now the war is over, mm. let us give him a mandate from 2010 to 2015 mm. to sort out all the all the problems in the country and see that see that the people are happy hmm. but what what did he use it for moment he got that mandate the whole family started plundering this country as if there was no tomorrow hmm. and the very same mind the Rajapaksa who was voted in 2010 was defeated in 2015 hmm. so therefore I mean that 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 uh, had made uh, cry Hmm. is no more valid with the people hmm. because okay they they have paid that debt hmm. to mind the Rajapaksa and the family hmm. they have paid that debt you won the war we gave you another term hmm. and and now they are they, 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 they give them another term another well. term as, as well so you could see that the majority of the people of this country who voted for them hmm. has obviously hmm. taken a wrong decision hmm. A, on on two different occasions, they have mm. taken a wrong decision, mm. and and uh, by by voting for Mr. Gotabaya Rajapaksa, mm. that was a disastrous decision. Mm. And what brought us to bankruptcy was uh, the decisions he took during his tenure mm. of office. So if the if the people are still going to vote for the SLPP or the Port Tour, mm. I mean then. I don't think even God can help this country. Uh, Mr. Gunaratna, now, the people are also faced with another conundrum as to, if not the SLPP, then who? 
who is the alternative now different parties various yeah. political parties have uh, come out uh, into the fray and are you know fielding themselves as the next viable solution obviously you've got the SJP uh, then uh, you've got the the JJB uh, which has only currently three members of parliament but uh, the popularity is growing then also you've got uh, new parties uh, formed by various businessmen entrepreneurs influential people in yeah. society so with uh, this new phenomenon of course coming Sri Lanka has for the longest time been a two-party system yes either party A or party B greens and the blues that's how it went yes. but with this new phenomenon coming about what do you see in no, the future? What is happening is, uh, now Chalan, uh, this is, I think, in our electoral history, hmm. this is the only time hmm. where uh, people, uh, there has been a, a, a small uh, uh, a census done hmm. with regard to who, whom people are going to vote for at the next election. Okay. Because as you know, elections are on the corner. Hmm. So in with in that census, mm. it has transpired that 40 to 45 percent of the people mm. don't know whom they are going to vote and or they are not going to vote at all. Okay. So what what in effect what has happened is the floating voter mm. the, that vote base has increased from maybe 15 to 20 percent to 45 percent. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. Absolutely, it's a it's a wonderful thing. Okay. And I think the Aragale takes responsibility for that. Mm. You must give that credit to them because they are the people who dislodged the Rajapaksas, mm. not this political, the, the, the opposition and the other, other parties. Mm. It was none other than a people's movement by the name of the Aragalaya mm. without firing a single bullet. Mm. They were able to dislodge the most dangerous group of people who are running this country. Mm. So now with this, with this large uh, uh, floating voter, mm. maybe 40 to 45 percent. Mm. Now, if they do not vote Chalan, what is going to happen is the other 55 percent will vote and same, send these same rascals in. Mm. So that's a that's a very very dangerous situation to because be. Because then the people who didn't vote will also have to suffer. Will have to suffer. Okay. So therefore, now it is time for this 45 percent. Hmm. They have to think, hmm. they have to act responsibly, hmm. and 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 they sh they need to they need to all organize themselves, hmm. because otherwise, all of us are still staying in this country. We have not opted to leave, hmm. so uh, we need to make this a better place. Hmm. And I I as a as a uh, general secretary of a political party, hmm. it is our responsibility. To give this 45 percent who are still not decided as to what to do hmm. an option hmm. because they certainly don't see the SJB as an option, they don't see the JJB as an option, hmm. they don't see the UNP as an option, <coughs> option. they don't see the Porto as an option at all. Hmm. So they are looking for a new force, hmm. a new consortium hmm. to come forward hmm. and I feel it is time is ripe now for right thinking people or like thinking people mm. to start getting together and organizing themselves so that they can face an election. Mm. Now the problem is Chalan, I am vigorously trying to get this group together. Mm. But the moment you go and talk to the this right thinking, like thinking people mm. and you tell them okay you need to come and contest an election, mm. then my God they start bolting out. They don't want to contest. They don't want to contest. So hmm. point is this. If you want to change this system, you need to come into the system. Hmm. You can't change you, the system from outside. You cannot change the system from outside. So therefore, my humble uh, plea is to, is all this light thinking people must come forward and get together hmm. and see how we can change the system. It is very simple. Hmm. Because, I mean, all you need is at the next parliamentary election, hmm. each district, there are 22 districts, hmm. you need to file the field a very good, strong list so that the people have an option. Hmm. And, 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 and this list should be of people who are 
whose stature they, there is no there are no skeletons in their cupboards mm. because because most of the uh, the the groups in parliament most of them i mean they will not be able to uh, f f feel the a, 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 a competent list in uh, uh, for the next election mm. they will have to give these same people nominations because otherwise they will lose their grip in those areas mm. whether they win or not is, an, is, a, is 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 not the, is not the criteria mm. but they will have to give. so then what is the option the people are going to have the, if the same political parties forward almost the same candidates at mm. the next election mm. and if there is no alternative if there is no alternative force what happens then the little votes which are going to be polled will be polled on those fellows and the same lot will return mm. so if you want to change it mm. all right thinking like thinking people must come together irrespective of our differences mm. at least for 5 years make it a make it a mandate for 5 years come put this right and then you can go your ways mm. because there are many people and and i have come across lots of people who are who are very talented in various fields they are mm. coming they are lying low they are they are not contributing we can make take make use of their expertise to to ta take this country to a different place mm. we need to develop mm. different types of hubs mm. like like now for for instance tourism tourism can be made into a 5 million uh, a 5 million tourist arrival mm. the, uh, when you take this this country challenge compared to maldives what have maldives got to offer and what have we got to offer mm. we have got so much to offer mm. but we are not we have failed to place place ourselves properly mm. at least i must say presently with some of the visa re, uh, relax, uh, relaxing of visas being given to foreigners those are extremely good Uh, steps the government mm. is taking so what is good is good i mean they are doing a uh, lot of things to get more and more tourists to come mm. in but we need now if you take the airport mm. if you take the airport the the as you enter the airport i mean you look at the immigration guys you want to go back <laughs> you go to the you go to the duty free you want to go back because there is it's like a fish market mm. then you come out of the airport you get the taxi drivers the van drivers who are trying to kill each other to get people in so what is the first impression so you need i mean minister of tourism who who have whoever it is whoever is running this in the state of sri lanka needs to put these things right uh, chalan mm. otherwise you can't promote tourism i mean i have traveled to places like malaysia i've gone to singapore i mean they are so so nice so polite so kind mm. those people i mean irrespective of who you are they are very kind to you mm. but here you don't get that so what i'm saying is you need to change you need to mm. change this and we need we need all talented people to come come into the come into the center stage hmm. and take control of this power game but um, president council mathri gunratna now do you think that um, the current political ambiance in sri lanka or the current political state in sri lanka is really conducive for newcomers to come in and contest this is the best time this is the best time the, the i don't think uh, uh, the time is as right as it is presently situated Hmm. because as i told you earlier 40 to 45% is the floating vote hmm. so if we, if if we can put a group together hmm. if we can get a consortium together hmm. of like minded people hmm. i mean i think i think uh, we can we can really push it through there is no problem hmm. because now for instance chalan if i ask you a question hmm. who am you going to vote for <laughs> what is your what is your answer I mean I know you because you are working for this station you can't but do you have an option hmm. do you have an option I think that's a question better directed to the general public the general public <laughs> do you have an option whom are you going to vote for so what i'm saying is you need and and the other thing is this now when you are electing people whether it's the president whether it's a member of parliament whoever it is You, he, this is the only place where we elect someone with no qualifications you give him the the best job <laughs> now if you take the if you take parliament they say about 125 members have not passed their o levels hmm. so many others have not passed their a levels so you have appointed people who are not qualified to run the state of sri lanka and compete with the world hmm. you are competing with the with with india you are competing with malaysia you're competing with singapore hmm. you take their cabinets all doctorates all all very erudite people hmm. so how do you how do you compensate that so you need to bring in a mixture 
you need educated people you need people with experience you need businessmen you need all of them to come and make this state of sri lanka because this is possible people say it will you can bring this country right in only 2048 i don't think it is correct hmm. within within 6 months this country can be put on the correct track because all the infrastructure is there all the king's men all the king's horses are there hmm. all you need is proper management this country lacks proper management it is a management problem hmm. and with with this set in parliament hmm. i don't think you can ever even think of hmm. a proper management so you need to get right people to come and take over this and then i think it can be sorted out within 6 months within 3 4 years we will be able to come out of this debt also hmm. uh, mr gunaratna now when you when you speak about uh, appointing new members to parliament appointing fresh faces people with more qualifications all of those are really good however moving forward uh, it's most likely that next year at the general election sri lanka will have a hung parliament it's it's very hard to kind of imagine even that one party will get an absolute majority or even a simple no, majority that's true perfectly in, correct in parliament perfectly so correct. this game of forming alliances of course is going to come about again um so speaking from your perspective as a, as a, as a general secretary of a, of a minor party here in sri lanka <coughs> do you think that uh, do you think there is any political party that you can align yourself with no uh, i am i don't i am not going to align myself with the so called these main parties hmm. who have been responsible in bringing this country to its knees hmm. so what i'm saying is we need to think out of the box we need to think newly hmm. we have to have new faces hmm. new party and to take this country at least at its 100th anniversary hmm. where we are we are we are work of marching towards a developed nation hmm. so we have got about another 25 years hmm. that is all possible but what i'm saying is if right thinking people still remain to be silent hmm. then you cannot change this you know the as martin luther king said it is not the evil of the bad people Hmm. but it's the silence of the good people that causes all the chaos hmm. so all i'm saying is if you if you are silent forget it so mr gunaratna speaking of more national politics of course here in sri lanka um with uh, president ranil wickremesinghe of course coming into office there were certain uh, there were certain <coughs> issues that were fixed at least um the queues that were there were Are, are no more yeah, yeah. and and moving forward uh, the president has also intimated his intention of contesting another presidential election um no plans on your part to maybe support him no no i i i don't plan to support uh, anyone hmm. because uh, at at uh, as, as it is all these parties in parliament seem to be having a lot of baggage in with them hmm. so if i try to uh, hitch my carriage somewhere there mm. i think i think the credibility i i will lose credibility okay but as you said mm. chalan i mean there are a lot of good things he has done i mean mm. i have been a critic of his mm. whenever it whenever it is when the press is necessary you have to do that and that's that's i suppose the way it should go okay i mean we all appreciate that yes but now having done that chalan when you when you take the cricket fiasco and 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 when you see how uh, this ranatunga minister ranatunga uh, roshan ranatunga mm. ranasinga uh, ranas ranasinga roshan ranasinga how he was uh, exited out of the cabinet mm. and at, actually uh, he was a guy who was trying to make some kind of change there mm. but ultimately corruption won mm. now if you take if you take even the if you take even the the police department mm. the present uh, igp the acting igp hmm. now on numerous occasions we have gone to court we have filed actions saying that i mean he 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 is not responsible he is responsible and he is not suitable hmm. but uh, un- unfortunately the courts took a different opinion hmm. we filed action against kabral being appointed as governor central bank he was not suitable but court took a different opinion that i don't think court can really intervene in those appointments <laughs> no no not <laughs> so the appointment but the point is the criteria hmm. if the if a person does not have the criteria to go there hmm. at least inquire into it but 
Well, those are those are matters which which which. But Mr. Gunaratne, if the constitution is vested a uh, discretion with the president, what no, 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 judiciary no, no, do? No, 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 no. Now, now, we, we, I'm just uh, giving you an example. Mm. Now, I, when appointment of the governor of the central bank, mm. clearly it is a disqualification, mm. right? Not constitutional, not not in uh, not in that, but it is by by pr practice. Mm -hmm. No person. Who has affiliation. Whole affiliation can go. Mm. Cabral, Cabral goes f as deputy minister. He goes straight to the uh, Central Bank of Sri Lanka. <laughs> so now those are issues. I mean, I mean, we were we, we are we were asking for trouble. Mm. And what happened? What happened? Three months after that, the whole the, the, we had to declare self bankrupt. Mm. Now again with with Deshabandhu Tenakon, mm. Aragale mm. on the on the 9th of May. I, the the former IGP sent a letter to him saying that this Gota Gogama is going to be attacked. Okay. Written letter saying that in, uh, intelligence sources, intelligence department has uh, given this mm. advice. I have got the letter with me. I can send it, give it to anyone. Now, having given that mm. to the uh, to the to this uh, to present senior uh, present uh, acting IGP, mm. what does he do? He completely ignores that letter. Hmm. Then, when the group was marching from from uh, from uh, from the tem from Temple Tree to, uh, he calls the president, hmm. President Gotabe Rajapaksa. Hmm. President Gotabe Rajapaksa says, "Komari meka navatan." Hmm. In fairness to the man, hmm. but what does he do? He he does he disobeys that. He takes instructions from someone else, hmm. and he lets them to come and attack attack the people there. Hmm. And you saw the damage which was caused. Hundred odd houses were burnt. Mm. One a member of parliament was killed. Mm. Yeah, see, and 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 now, Mr. Anil Vikramasinghe, I points, uh, gives him that acting. I can't understand this constitutional council, with with what what uh, uh, what conscience they can appoint a person like this as the as the uh, as the po po police uh, po commissioner or uh, the, the the IGP. Sorry. Mm. So you know when 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 the president mm. is supposed to do things which are. Beneficial to the people of this country, hmm. and when when stupid decisions like this are made, hmm. then you are you are you are you are doubting his 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 uh, genuineness hmm. in trying to pull this country from this rut. Hmm. That is why you can't you can't. I I personally don't want to hitch my carriage <laughs> because I don't see any genuineness. Hmm. I, I mean, genuineness will come only in the actions. Hmm. Genuineness will come into action. So these actions are are keeping the the place uh, open. Are, are very disingenuous. Yeah, definitely. Uh, President's Council Gunaratna. So, according to the president, um, he says that next year first election is going to be a presidential election. So where will your party stand? Actually, Chalan, thank you for the question. We are in uh, discussion with many groups. Mm. Many many groups because we find that these light thinking people are all in in small small areas. They are talking to each other as to what we are going to do. Hmm. So I mean this program is very timely because I think we should all get together and see whether we can decide on someone hmm. who is who is going to take this country forward. Okay. Because the, and we have time. Hmm. And and Mr. Anil Vikram Singh, I mean if he if, if he still has time. To to I feel uh, to uh, to recover hmm. and and make a make a make a make a come back come back <laughs> because politics every two weeks you can make a comeback hmm. if you do the right things and continue to do the right things hmm. so I mean as as uh, as we said I mean he, he has not he did a, he has done a quite okay job hmm. especially uh, Chalan with the foreign uh, with the foreign uh, countries and uh, various foreign trips he has made I've been hmm. following. He has come out quite well in those. Okay. You know, he has come out quite well. Even this climate uh, uh, change thing, Cop he has uh, he has gone to he went to Dubai. Yes. I mean, he has contributed mm. because whatever said and done, he is knowledgeable on those subjects and mm. he has contributed. Mm. But what I am saying is, all that when he makes these appointments, he must he also must uh, be genuine in those. Mm. He must be genuine in those, and if they, if that kind of uh, reassurance is given to the general mm. public, I mean, then there is no need for us to uh, to have any other options. Mm. But we need we need to see that he's hundred percent genuine, and he's he wants to take this country from uh, from what it is to a better place. Mm. 
But of course, questions of genuineness um, with the past actions, of course, Precisely. of individuals also, Precisely. which it's quite hard to reconcile when the Supreme Court determines that a certain uh, group is responsible for you know the economic crisis of the country and you see uh, the head of state Senate breaking bread with them i mean then i mean that, that quite, literally. <laughs> quite literally <laughs> thank you very much uh, president's council Matri gunaratna for joining us on our program uh, this evening thank you very much of course to all our viewers out there as well and of course as we continue uh, to be citizens of Sri Lanka, to live in this beautiful country. It is incumbent upon all of us. It is our responsibility uh, to contribute to the development of this country. And given the dearth in the political leadership in Sri Lanka, uh, like President's Council Maitri Gunaratna said, now might be the perfect time for you if you are wondering how you can contribute to the politics of Sri Lanka to maybe take a shot at representing the general public. Thank you very much for tuning in. Until we meet again, take care and God bless.